Next we're going to do is we're going to look at some operations with scientific notation. So as you can see we have two numbers in scientific notation and we're asked to multiply those together. So believe it or not we're going to use the exact same rules we used before. We have like bases. Our base is 10 here and 10 here. So the base will stay the same. Anytime you multiply like bases you're going to add the exponents. These numbers right here we can call our coefficients and what you do anytime you multiply is you're going to multiply your coefficients together. So you get 10 times 10 to the seventh power. The only thing that's wrong with this, of course, is because this is not correctly written scientific notation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this number right here of 10 and write it in scientific notation. The reason I know it's not correctly written is right now the decimal's there, so I have two digits to the left of the decimal. So to do this, I actually want my decimal to be right here. So I want it to be one decimal zero. And then do I need to make this number larger or smaller to become 10? Well, hopefully one you can see is smaller, so I need to make it larger to be this one. Anytime that's the case, we use a positive exponent. So that is the scientific notation for the number 10. But this is still out here, so we still have times 10 to the 7th. So again, you should be able to see we have like bases. So the answer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply my coefficients together. 1 times 1 is 1, and then times 10. The base stays the same. I add my exponents together to give me an answer of 8. That's the first example we're going to look at. Now we're going to look at quotient. So this time what we're trying to do is we're trying to divide these things. When you divide things, you can cancel them. Or, since we know uh, the quotient rule, we can subtract our exponents. So the base will stay the same. We always take the, the top number and subtract from it the smaller. So 3 minus 10 is negative 7. And what we're going to do, anytime you're uh, finding the quotient of two numbers in scientific notation, you're actually just going to divide them. So 4 will go into this. It will go into it 2.1 times. So it's going to be 2 decimal 1 times 10 to the negative 7th power. Last example is this one. What this really means is going to be 2 uh, times 10 to the 3rd squared. So we're going to write it twice. And then we're going to treat it just like we did multiplication. We have a like base, so the base won't change, so it's still going to be 10. We can add our exponents together to the 6th, and then 2 times 2 will give us an answer of 4. So since both of those are correctly written in scientific notation, we'll finish those two problems.